What's up guys, we are back on my gnome warlock, now we're questing through Loch Modan. As you can see my quest log, I have no quests right now, we've just finished the other zone, Dun Morak. Check out that other video if you haven't seen that one yet. And guys, I really appreciate all your comments on the other videos, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. If you're new to this, please don't forget to subscribe right now for more gaming videos and wow videos and I don't know what else but cool videos like this. Alright, let's go grab some quests and rush through this zone called Loch Modan. We are now in the main city, Telzamar. First, let's go inside the, the inn, talk to the barkeeper, pick up the quest Telzamar blood sausages. Outside there's a guard patrolling, we're lucky he was just right in front of the inn, but he can be patrolling anywhere in the city. So find him, talk to him, pick up both quests, Rat Catching and Mountaineer Storm Pike's task. Then walk to the very last house on this street, it's on the right side. Downstairs you can pick up the quest, Honor Students. Alright, so now you should have these four quests. Right from the get-go we're gonna do a little bit of walking to pick up some other quests. As you can see on the minimap, we have a um, quest to hand in right here. We're not gonna do it just quite yet. First, run a little bit north. Very quickly you will reach this Alga station. On the map this is where we are. Walk inside the building, go upstairs. And then hand in the quest Mountaineer Stormpike's task, accept the quest Stormpike's order, and accept the other quest called Filthy Paws. After that, jump back outside and walk back south. As soon as you reach Thelzamar, again, don't hand in the quest yet, just walk past it and walk further south. After a really short walk, you will reach this bunker here. Check on the map, this is where we are. First talk to this guy, accept the quest in defense of the king's land. And inside the bunker upstairs, there's the captain and he has the quest to truck threat for you. Alright, now we're back in Thilzamar. Look on the map, here we are. If you open your quest log, you should have all these quests. That's what we've just picked up. And now you can talk to the Griffin Master, complete the quest Honor Students, continue, complete it, accept the next one, ride to Ironforge, talk to him again, and buy yourself a ride to Ironforge. Flying on your Griffin you will land in the middle of Ironforge, near the Great Forge. And right after landing, if you check your minimap, you will see this golden dot that says Golnir Boulder Toe. This is where you need to hand in the quest ride to Ironforge. Talk to him, complete the quest, and accept the follow-up quest. So this guy, he wants us to go back to the Griffin Master once again and fly back to Thelzamar. But before we do that, we're gonna pick up another quest for Loch Modan. So, we are here in Tinkertown. And there's this gnome here. Unfortunately, we're not high level enough yet to pick up this quest. The quest is called Find Bingles. It requires level 12. We're level 11 now, so we'll come back later to pick it up. Alright, so we're back at the Griffin Master. Talk to him, hand in the quest. Accept the follow-up quest and then buy yourself a ride back to Thelzamar. Now, while we're flying back to Thelzamar, let's quickly talk about Stormpike's order. This quest is a simple delivery quest. He wants you to walk to Stormwind and talk to a friend of his. You can do this quest when you decide to go to Westfall for example and continue leveling there. But since right now we have plenty of quests to do in Loch Modan, we're not gonna worry about this one for now. Okay, we are back in Thilzamar. First thing we're gonna deliver the Return to Brook quest. Remember, he is inside the last house on the right side. Talk to him, hand in the quest and that's the end of this quest series. The first two quests we want to do are rat catching and Thelzamar blood sausages. We're gonna walk to a spot where there are different rats, but on the way, if you see any boars, bears or spiders, make sure to kill them and pick up their, their items for this other quest. We're leaving Thelzamar to the north. Here you can see the first boar, back there there's a spider, here's another spider, just kill whatever you find along the way. And immediately after leaving Thelzamar, see this is where we are right now, you will find some of these rats. Kill them to rip off their ears. We need 12 of them. For some reason each rat has just one ear, but that's okay. If after killing the rats here, you still don't have enough ears, you can just walk further north to this cave symbol here and you will find more rats there. Alright, so I got now all my 12 ears, but I'm still missing a lot of ingredients for the Thelzamer blood sus- blood sus- 
but I'm still missing a lot of ingredients for the blood sausages. The best way you can find them is by checking here for bears and walking down here for spiders and bears and boars. I'll show you what it looks like. So as you can see now we're here in the north right on the other side of the Alga station. There's no real like location for this quest. You just need to walk through the between the, between the trees and kill whatever you can find. And when you come here, you can see there's one, two, three, four bears that spawn here. It is right down here on the south side of this little mountain. All right, so I did it. I got all the ingredients for the blood sausages, and now let's return to Thelzamar. First, find the mountaineer that's patrolling, hand in the quest rat catching. And then walk back inside the inn and hand in the other quest with the sausages. So now because I'm level 12 and my hearthstone is still in Ironforge, I decided to teleport myself to Ironforge real quick, get the new abilities and pick up the other quest that we couldn't before. Alright, so I've just picked up my new level 12 abilities. Now we are back in Tinkertown. Here's the gnome. Talk to him and pick up the quest, find Bingles. Okay, so we are back in Thelzamar, and the next two quests we're gonna do are called In Defense of the King's Lands and the Truck Threat. To do these two quests, you walk south. Look, we're, we've just walked south here down the road until you reach this spot here, and you will see a narrow path heading into the hills. On the other side, you will discover Stone Splinter Valley. You have to kill 10 trucks, 10 scouts, and collect 8 tooths from them. And both of the quests are completed and we can return back south to hand them in. So here we are back at the south bunker. First hand in this quest here in defense of the king's land. Now the follow up quest is actually from a different mountaineer. You just have to walk back here. So accept this quest also called in defense of the king's lands. Then enter the bunker, walk upstairs to hand in the other quest, the truck threat. Then you can jump out of the bunker. Now return back to the trucks area and we will find the skull thumpers and the seers. So we've just entered Stone Splinter Valley where we were killing the trucks previously and now there is a narrow path leading up to this campfire, that's where we have to go next. When you get up here you can see that there are seers and skull thumpers around. We have to kill 10 of each to complete this quest. Alright so we got 10 of each kills and we can return back to the south bunker to get the next quest. And here we are, back in at the south bunker, here we are on the map. Over there is the mountaineer, where we have to hand in the quest. Once again, it's not the same dwarf that gives us the follow-up quest, we have to go inside the bunker, and this one here gives us the next one. For the third quest in this uh, chain, in defense of the king's lands, we have to kill 10 shamans and 10 bone snappers. We will find them inside the cave, so we've just been killing the other trucks around the cave, now we have to go inside the cave. So we have now returned to the same spot from before. Check on the map, this is where we are. There are two caves, a large one here to the right and a very small one to the left. Inside both caves you will find shamans and bone snappers. So just be careful, kill them all and complete your quest. Okay, I was finally able to kill all the 10 bone snappers and shamans. And now we can return once again to the southern bunker and get the last step in this quest chain. Here we are once again at the southern bunker, on the map we're here. We'll walk back inside and hand in the quest. This is the mountaineer at the foot of the... at the foot... Oh. This is the mountaineer at the foot of the stairs. The very last part of this quest chain is actually at the very top. Talk to the captain and accept the last quest called In Defense of the King's Lands. For this quest we have to return to the same cave from where we've just came from. There are the three truck leaders, we have to kill them to complete this quest. So here we are in front of the cave. After you've entered you can go either left, center or right. Make sure you take the right turn. After that you have to walk over this little tiny river or stream of water and then you will find the three leaders right here inside this little, I don't know, this little room or whatever it's called on the left. So here they are, these are the three leaders of the trucks, we have to kill them all to complete this quest. There is nothing you need to loot, just kill them and then return to the southern bunker to complete this quest chain. And back inside the bunker in the south, walk to the very top, talk to the captain and hand in the quest. And then you can return to Thelzamar. here. Depending on your level you can go now to Ironforge and get new skills, new abilities from your class trainer. And looking at the quest log, you should have these three quests in your log. And the next one we're gonna do is Filthy Paws. 
To do this quest, follow the road and walk north. When you've reached the north bunker, which is also called the Alga Station, turn right into the forest. Very soon you will reach the Silver Stream Mine with a lot of rats right in front of it. So here we are in front of the entrance to the mine, having a look at the, on the map. Here we are, you can even see the cave symbol right here. All we need to do is enter the cave and loot these uh, miners leak crates. They contain the miners gear, we need four of them. So enter the cave, loot them until you've got four gear items. Alright, so I've just found my fourth miners gear and I can leave the cave. When you're outside of the cave, head back west and return to the northern bunker at the Donalga station. We have reached the northern bunker, look here on the map, walk inside, go to the very top and talk to the mountaineer to complete the quest. Now we can walk back to Thelzamar and if we're looking at the map we can see that we have covered, we've completed the whole, basically the whole western side of Loch Madan and now it's time that we look at the eastern side. We are back in Thelzamar and once again go into the last house on the right side. Downstairs you can pick up this quest, Iron Band's Excavation. Immediately after that you can leave Thilsamore again and walk south. We have arrived at Iron Band's Excavation site. This is where we are on the map. Talk to this dwarf here, complete the quest, accept the follow-up quest. Then in the same camp there is another dwarf and he has also a quest for you, pick it up. After that continue walking north along the east side of the lake. After a short walk you will reach this gnome here called Bingles. This is where we are on the map. Talk to him to complete the quest, find Bingles and accept his follow-up quest as well called Bingles Missing Supplies. After having talked to Bingles, turn right and head east into the hills. Just to give you an idea of where exactly we are, Bingles was here at the lake, now we're here walking east and we have to go all the way to the mountains to reach the next quest location. After not too long you will reach this building here, it is called the Far Strider Lodge. And this is where we are on the map. When you walk inside, first talk to Daryl to accept his quest, a hunter's boast. And then on the other side of the lodge, there is a dwarf who also has a quest for you. So the quest we're gonna do now is called a hunter's boast. As you can see, it is on a 15 minutes timer. We have to kill buzzard birds before the timer runs out. A great place to, to find these buzzard birds is right around the lodge, right outside. If you check the area a bit, you should find them quite quickly. So I've just killed the last of my six buzzard birds and now we'll return to the lodge to hand in the quest before the timer runs out. Talk to Daryl, hand in the quest and his follow-up quest is also on a timer, this time it's 12 minutes and we have to kill five elder mountain boars. You can find most of these boars if you walk back towards the lake and then walk a bit north. Okay, so that's five boars, finally found them, and now I have to rush back to the lodge to hand in the quest before the timer runs out. We are back at the lodge, we made it just in time, talk to Daryl, complete the quest. Now the follow-up quest to that one is actually here in the front and it's called Virin's Revenge. The next quest we're gonna do is called Crocolist Hunting. There is an island right here on the lake which has a lot of crocs and also around the, the edges of the lakes we will also find plenty of crocs. So we have now reached this little island that I was talking about, as you can see we're right here and it is full of crocodiles, there's another island over there with crocodiles and also along the edges of the lakes there are plenty of crocodiles, keep farming them until you have 5 meat and 6 skin pieces. Okay we got all the meat and the skin items and we can return to the hunter's lodge to hand in the quest. Back at the lodge, talk to the dwarf and hand in the quest. Don't forget the lodge is right here to the east. Next we can do the quest Bingles Missing Supplies and for this we have to return to the lake. So we are now approaching the biggest island which is also the one furthest north. It is overrun by trucks and it is here uh, between these trucks where we will find the, the supplies for Bingles. I'll show you exactly where you can pick them up. Also now that I think about it, it would have been much better to come directly here after killing the crocodiles. So that's something you want to switch up when you're questing here. Make sure you come here directly after killing the crocodiles. The first uh, item, the blast and capper, you will find it right here in front of this tent. On the map I can show you, we're right here. Click on it to pick it up. So over there you can see the tent where we picked up the first item. And if you walk a bit north, then you will find right here next to this broken uh, thing, you will find the tool bucket. 
After that, walk southwest on this little separated island here. Let me show you in the map. This is where we are. And you click here on another tool bucket to pick it up. And finally, the fourth and last item is here in this little camp on the northern edge of this island. Click on it to pick it up. Now you can see from afar on the dam, there is a quest from the chief engineer. That's where we'll walk now. So here we are on the dam, way in the north. Talk to the chief engineer and he starts a, a long quest chain called a dark threat looms. Accept the quest and then walk east on the dam. When you reach the east ramp of the dam, you will find right around the, the corner, you will find um, these dark iron dwarfs over here. Kill them and then hidden in the corner is the item that you need to interact with for the next step in this quest chain. It is this barrel right here. Check on the map. This is where we are. Click on it, complete the quest and accept the next part. Simply walk back onto the dam and return to the chief engineer. Here we are again, talk to him, hand in the quest and accept the next part. Now unfortunately the next part of A Dark Thread Looms wants us to go to Don Motor and talk to Ashland Stonesmirk which is a dwarf in the north of the wetlands. It's a really far walk from here, also there's a lot of higher level enemies along the way, so we're probably not gonna be able to do that part in this video guide, but just so you know where you have to go to continue. Instead what we, what we can do now is we can jump back in the water and return to Bingles. So we are back at Bingles, check here on the map, this is where we are. Unfortunately the little gnome got killed, he's dead and instead of waiting for him to respawn I'll return to Thelzamar now, but hopefully when you come back he will be alive. Okay we are back in Thelzamar, once again walk inside the third house on the right side of the road and talk to this dwarf downstairs. Hand in the quest excavation progress report and he will give you a follow-up quest. This follow-up quest wants us to go to Ironforge that's uh, great for us right now because we've just reached level 16. That means we can pick up some more new and stronger abilities. So grab a griffin and fly to Ironforge. We have just landed in Ironforge and we're heading straight to the Hall of Explorers. Inside the library you will find the prospector to continue to the next step of this questline. And before flying back to Thelzamar, don't forget to learn your new abilities. When you're all set, talk to the Griffin Master and fly back to Thelzamar. After landing in Thelzamar, walk back to the same Minor Dwarf. Here he is, complete the quest and accept the follow-up quest. So now we're doing the two quests, resupplying the excavation and gathering idols. Well, actually we're doing resupplying the excavation first and then it's gonna lead us eventually to gathering idols. For this, we'll walk south here. And when you're walking south, you might come across this elite bear here. He's called Ol Sudi, and if you remember back at the Hunter's Lodge, we received this elite quest called Virin's Revenge. This is the bear that you have to kill for this quest, and then return once again to the Hunter's Lodge. For information, this is where we are right now, where the bear is. The Forest Rider Lodge is going to be over here, so if you find yourself a group for this elite quest, you can complete it here as well. So we are now approaching Huldar, he is right here on the map, and as you can see when you approach, he's being attacked traders after you helped him talk to him hand in the quest resupplying the excavation and then accept the next quest which is going to start an escort so make sure you're ready for that see the moment i accepted this quest called protecting the shipment he's going to start walking and he will walk over here to the excavation side on the way we will be attacked by dark iron dwarves just as we're about to reach the target location we're being attacked by dark iron dwarves make sure that nobody attacks Miran. All right, we have safely escorted him, quest is completed, then talk to this prospector here and complete the quest. So we're now here inside the excavation site and this place here is also overrun by trucks. We have to kill them and collect eight carved stone idols for the quest gathering idols. Okay, I already got my eight idols and I can walk back to the camp and hand it in. Here we are back at the site down here. Talk to Magmar and hand in the quest. And of course I had to walk back to my friend Bingles here in the east and hand in the quest Bingles missing supplies. As remember before we couldn't because he was dead. 
All right, I know that I said originally that we're not gonna go to wetlands to continue this long quest lane a dark threat looms, but we're gonna go now anyways. I'm here way in the north in front of this tunnel. This is where you have to enter Don Algas to reach the next zone, uh, actually a much higher level zone called wetlands. As you can see on the map, we're already entering wetlands, we're leaving the mountains here through these tunnels and we'll soon reach this path. Here we are, we've just left the tunnel, we've entered the wetlands, Actually, I really enjoy questing here. I think it's a great zone for leveling and grinding and questing. But we are here only to do the next step of the quest chain, A Dark Threat Looms, where we have to find Ashlan, who's in the, in the north, way in the north of wetlands up here. Keep following the road until you reach this crossroads here. This is where we are on the map. And then head north towards Don Motor. Keep following the road until you discover Don Motor, and very soon you will also see Ashlan marked on your minimap. Talk to him to complete the quest A Dark Threat Looms, and you can accept the next step in this quest chain. Now for the next step, we have to return back to Lochmadan and go to the dam in the north and talk to the chief engineer. But before you do that, I suggest you walk back south to this crossroads and then walk further west to discover the next town and get a new flight path from which we can fly back to Thelzamar. Here we are back at this crossroads and now walk west. As long as you keep walking west along the road you will soon reach Menethil Harbor, walk to the docks, talk to the Griffin Master and buy a flight back to Thelzamar. Okay we've just landed in Thelzamar, let's walk back north to the dam. We made it, we're back on the dam in the north here. And we can talk again with the chief engineer and in the quest and accept the next part. Alright, so as you can see we have only three quests left in our quest log now. Two of them are elite quests and the first one, Storm Pike's Order, is the quest that requires us to run to Stormwind. Before we're gonna wrap this up, I will quickly explain you how these elite quests work. But to do that we have to run back to Thelzamar real quick. Okay, we are now back in Thelzamar and here... In front of this uh, house at the end of the road is a, a wanted sign. You can click on it to accept one elite quest. Now you have to be level 17 or higher to accept this quest. And also if you walk up here, there is another elite quest called mercenaries, which you can accept as well. So now at this point, we have completed all the quests in Loch Modan that we can do solo. As you can see in the quest log, the only quests that remain are elite quests. We've already looked at Virin's Revenge, that was the bear down here, Old Sudi. Then the mercenaries, Choksul and a Dark Threat Looms. They can all be completed in the same spot, which is here in the northeast. There you will find several camps and caves with elite ogres. You're definitely gonna need a group to do these elite quests. Unfortunately, I cannot show you this here alone. But to be honest, if you have these quests and you find a group, it's really easy to do them. So yeah, that covers this monster video about Lochmadan and showing you all the quests that you can do in Lochmadan and what I think is a pretty solid order to do them in. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below and please like the video, it really helps me to show Google that uh, people are watching my videos and like them and so I get more viewers. Whatever you're playing in Classic WoW on the official Blizzard servers, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys are playing. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.